Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews, and I'm finishing off my uh, Nemesis series, series Marvel Legends. Uh, this is figure number five, the Beast, and this is the final figure I need to complete Nemesis. He comes with the right arm of Nemesis, and of course the uh, Walmart exclusive wave, made in 2009. And I saw this, I thought this was kind of strange. See on the package it says 2007. Thought that was kind of crazy. But that might be when Hasbro took over the Marvel Legends. I think it was like 2006, 2007. But these were released in 2009, so kind of crazy. <clears throat> but the other figures you need to complete this uh, Nemesis bath. But uh, let's take a quick break and we'll get him out of the package. Alright, and we are back with Beast. First off, the right arm of Nemesis, so we'll finally have him complete, and I'll be doing a review on him tomorrow. And onto the Beast, in his uh, classic looking costume. Pretty sure this is just like his, uh, like the first appearance Beast. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me, but uh, as far as I know, that's what this figure is. Very cool looking beastly face. And, uh, you know, detail wise, everything looks great with all the the hair and everything looks pretty cool a pretty simple little costume just a pair of shorts and some little wrist things it's very cool and uh, articulation is okay but uh, definitely lacking they gave him some of the goofy joints that they gave some of the other figures in this line but uh, he does have a ball jointed head but if you can see his neck is arched forward so and you can't really get his head facing up too much more than that and the hair on the back of the, the head but uh, not bad he does have a ball jointed shoulder but does not have the upper bicep movement which stinks he does have the ball jointed elbow which helps but still without that uh, split bicep it's not very great <clears throat> and then the wrist does rotate and then go backward and forward as well uh, pre-molded hands so you can't get those out of these positions but they look okay <clears throat> looks like you could put some kind of weapon in his hand or just have them as they are and they look good so not too bad um, he's got a good torso joint with the up and down movement and then the, the side to side that works pretty well but there's no waist articulation which is kind of a bummer but uh <clears throat> Then you come to the hip joints and they're pretty ghetto. You don't have the ball joint, you, you just have the joint that goes. You know, that's as straight as you're going to get a kick out of him. You can't really put his leg like as a forward kick. They go out to the side pretty well. But, uh, you know, these, these leg joints are not the greatest. Don't really care for those at all. Um, he does have double jointed knees, which is nice. <clears throat> and a ball jointed foot with no side to side pivot on the feet so you know he he's a decently articulated figure uh, but definitely they gave him some of the goofier joints that I don't really care for uh, really disappointed it doesn't have the ball jointed thighs or double jointed elbows or the split at the upper bicep but uh, really nothing too much to complain about. Uh, it still looks pretty cool. Good amount of detail in there. It's got really cool yellow eyes. Definitely a decent figure. It's growing on me. Um, <clears throat> first initially picking this wave up in the store, this looked like the bum figure of the bunch, but it's really not that bad. So uh, Beast, thanks for checking them out. 